motherfucker here. A lot of leaves and such. Well, I don't know if it's showing up or not, but I've kind of got my supplies set off to the side here. Uh, this tent's been up for, geez, what am I thinking, uh, four or five months. Maybe longer than that, maybe close to six months. It's October now, halfway through October. No. Uh, it's been up longer than it probably should have been, but, you know, what can you do? You can see over here, I've sort of got my essentials for tonight. I've got a few various... Uh, drinks. Uh, there's a twisted tea, kind of Sprite, an orange Bud Light for some weird reason, and uh, Voodoo Ranger. It's an IPA that this is all kind of like the leftover stuff that nobody wants to finish. But the uh, star of the show will be the Armour Chili with Beans. That will be good. I've had a few of these and I love these. That'll be. Uh, for dinner tonight, and I'm going to try to cook it on the fire, it's just out of the camera over there on the back side. Uh, got my Chromebook. I hated this thing when I first got it because there's no storage and it's a completely different operating system from Windows and from Apple. Uh, it's Chrome, it's its own thing, but after I've had it for a while, I've learned to love it. Uh, it does have LTE. But there's no LTE here, obviously, where I'm at, there's there's nothing. So I pre-downloaded a bunch of Trailer Park Boys on here, which I absolutely love. And, uh, and of course, I got my phone that's uh, got some cool movies on it, so I may end up getting into that tonight. Well, it's supposed to get down below freezing tonight. Uh, last I checked, it's 30 degrees Fahrenheit, which is like negative 1 Celsius or something like that. Uh, it's going to be cold, so it'll be nice to try out that sleeping bag when uh, when we're below freezing. I've never tried that yet, that particular sleeping bag. It'll be kind of nice. And if it gets too bad, I can always get up, sit by the fire, lay down right here, I guess, if I need to. Uh, I've got an extra towel that I can throw over myself keep the dew off me and keep the frost off, which is on the four-wheeler as we're talking right now. I think in the background you can hear some noise, but that's probably the last time this year that we're going to hear that kind of noise. This also might be the last time this year that I sit right here and talk to you. This tent isn't designed for cold weather camping. Someday I'd like to have a nice canvas tent with a stove jack. And a nice little wood burner, keep myself warm. Uh, that will happen eventually, but as of right now, this is what we got. You know, no matter where I'm at, I always think of what my life was like when I was a kid. And uh, watching Dad build a fire outside, and Mom would always keep her eye on us, no matter what we're doing, trying to keep us safe. And a 
lot of that applies to how I how I go camping. And it's a rare treat. Or it might not even be a treat. It's a rare uh, event when I get to go by myself. I don't have anybody to look out for other than me. Life can be full of regret if you're not careful. And I have a lot of friends that work in the medical field and they're they're present when people pass on to the next side. And those people always tell medical people that the biggest regret in life is the things that they didn't get to do. The last person that talked about this to me uh, spoke about an old lady that always wanted to go see a glacier. She'd never seen a glacier and she ended up passing away without ever seeing a glacier. I'd like to see a glacier. I mean, I'm, I'm over 40 here and I've rarely seen beyond Indiana when I go west. Uh, I've been south, I've been to Alabama, but I've still never seen the Gulf. Farthest east I've been is Washington, Pennsylvania. Farthest north I've been, well, I've been right up to Lake Erie, but I've never seen the lake. <laughs> you believe that? I've never done anything. That being said, I've done a lot that a lot of people haven't done. Like right now, I get to sit here and do this. There's a lot of people in the world that can't do this. A lot of people in the country, a lot of people in this very state that can't sit here and do this. Just be grateful for whatever we have. So I've been using these Lucy lights for, geez, what is it, three or four years now. And they're still, they're still charging. I don't know if it shows up there. The three lights on the bottom, they just went out. That means it's fully charged. And uh, push the button, <laughs> thing still works. You know, still great. Yep, she's still charged. Now this thing is an Ozark Trail thing. It turns into a lantern. If you push the button, you do that. It got uh, a little solar panel on top. Then you can turn it on. It does work pretty good, actually. It's got that, and it's got the high setting, and then it's got the stupid blink thing that's supposed to be in some kind of emergency. But you can collapse it down and then it's sort of a spotlight that still has the same the same functions obviously but everything charges by solar here this one actually does have a uh, a charger that you can charge it and you can also use the internal battery to charge your cell phone or something so it is kind of cool that way but it's not not anything that I would bother taking with me on a important hike well we're losing light so I guess it's time to get this bad boy on the fire I wish they made these in pop tops, and they might, but not here today. We're doing this the old, not necessarily old school way, but the way that's going to make the wife angry when she can't find the can opener. And this label is paper, so that will have to come off. And if you notice, I didn't take the lid off all the way. I kind of drop it down about like that and that kind of keeps her keeps her under control sort of oh boy we're losing light it's starting to get dark let's see how that does so the chili's still cooking and I just realized something uh, the sun's going down. You can see it behind me there. It's uh, starting to be a nice, beautiful sunset. Uh, the frost is going to be coming tonight. It's cold. I can already feel it. You can probably see my breath in the lens. <sighs> well, I forgot to bring a coat. I don't have a coat with me. I have a sleeping bag, and I have several shirts and uh, sweatshirts and stuff like that, thermals, but I don't have a damn coat.
Uh-oh. Well, I'm all changed up here, I guess, and uh, I got my hat here, too. Put this bad boy on. A coat. I cannot believe I didn't bring a coat. How stupid is that? Got these nice uh, fleece line. That ain't fleece. I don't know what that is. Lanolin. <laughs> Whatever the crap that is. Uh, there's bad boys on. Got uh, thermals, tops and bottoms, and I got a t-shirt and sweatpants over top. Pretty sure I'm good to go. And, you know, common sense. Uh, I think I'm good. I cannot believe I didn't bring a coat. I cannot believe I didn't bring a coat. Um, uh, we'll just have to see how cold it gets. I don't have any way of measuring how cold it gets right now. So, we're going to have to go off of history. Uh, we'll look up the, the the recorded temperatures and, and see see what it says. So, it's going to get cold. There is a divider in here. I'm thinking about bringing this bad boy down and cutting off just this little half right here where I'm at. Maybe making it a little bit warmer. But I don't think I'm going to be that cold. I mean, 30 is not that cold. I've been a lot colder with just a tarp and a Carhartt coat, you know. Uh, I think I'll be okay. So I've decided to have chili on bread and watch the gray on my phone. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Oh my god. Chili on bread and the gray. It would appear that it is time to go to bed. So that's how we're doing this tonight. We're all snuggled up and uh, we're done watching that scary wolf movie. That's, that's enough of that crap. I did try to bring my dog in here with me and she decided that she wanted to go back outside and bark and be scary all night. So that'll be fun. Got uh, got plenty of clothes on underneath here, and this is a pretty thick sleeping bag. So we'll see how she goes. I'll see y'all in the morning. Well, good morning. I don't know if it got cold enough to frost or not. I can kind of see my breath, but I could see my breath last night. Uh, it got a little chilly. The sleeping bag did amazing, though. Really, really surprised how warm I stayed in this thing. Uh, I think I got cold was like my neck. Because apparently they don't make these sleeping bags for tall people. I don't know. I suppose if I was like 5'9 or something, it would have been okay. It was still okay, though. Of course, this is a zero degree Fahrenheit bag. So it obviously did much better than just a regular blanket would. Uh, Halo did a bunch of barking through the night. She barked about once an hour for a little while. And then there was a pack of coyotes that come through somewhere and they started doing their yipping and barking and whining stuff. And that really made Halo upset, so she didn't calm down for a while after that. Uh, sometime around 2 o'clock in the morning, a donkey somewhere started doing his whatever donkey sound that is. And uh, that also upset Halo, so she was pretty grumpy about that for a while. Now I don't even know if she's out there now or not. Uh, she might be. She usually stays out whenever I do camp. She'll hang out outside, but if it got as cold as what they said, uh, she might have went back. So I don't know. I haven't been up yet, so I don't know if we got frost or not, but I guess we're going to go see. Well, no, there is no frost. There's this giant hole in the ground here that Halo dug in the middle of the night for some reason. It actually feels warmer outside than it does in the tent. I'd say it's probably 35, 38. Well, we sure did get a lot of frost up here, actually. It's actually a really hard frost. The temperature says we got down to 27 last night. Well, I guess it did get kind of chilly. Kind of funny, there wasn't any frost in the woods. I guess I forgot about that. If the dew can't be exposed, it won't freeze. Well, that's it.